Well, good morning, everybody. I've got another gift wrap present for Minnesota behind me. Nice and clean. There's 10 lifts in there. Going down to Brainerd, Minnesota. I'm here at my regular stop in Sioux Narrows. Highly recommend you stop by here. The owner bought me my coffee today. Really nice guy. You guys should come support this business. They get really busy during the summertime. In wintertime, it slows down a bit because this is cottage country. Not as many people come out here in the wintertime as well. So if you do come through here, make sure you stop in here. It's called the Trading Post. Moccasins, toys, souvenirs, t-shirts, Malkin Jam, bakery, Deli, groceries, meat, bait and tackle, stationery. It's your catch-all store. You can get everything here. Oh, there go the treaty cups. Okay, so let's get back on the road. I want to get unloaded tonight yet. <sighs> Gotta be in Brainerd before 10 p.m. Looks like I'm gonna be there probably around 8.30. So we got plenty of time, even if I'm a little later, around nine, that's okay too. As long as I get there before 10 o'clock, they'll unload me tonight. After we're unloaded, I head down the road, or I guess up the road north to Bemidji, Minnesota. I have a load that's loading tomorrow at 1 p.m. So it's, uh, we have some time. We're not in that big of a rush once we get unloaded. But the main thing is that we get unloaded tonight. I mean, since my appointment is in Bemidji at 1 p.m., even if I didn't make it tonight, I could just unload it in the morning and still be there for my appointment, but I'd rather just get things done as quickly as we can and not drag my feet. Let's get out there. Thanks for joining me, everybody. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every day on the road here. I drive in Canada and the United States, based in Canada, just barely 60 miles over the border from North Dakota, the state that everybody talks about all the time. That epic, extraordinary state that is full of tourism, <laughs> North Dakota. I love North Dakota because it's our neighbor. Uh, and I'm also north of Minnesota, which is uh, a beautiful state. Up in the northern parts of Minnesota, I, I hate to play favorites, but my favorite part of Minnesota is the northern part, up in the trees and the bush, all the lakes. It's amazing. So uh, shout out to Minnesota and North Dakota. They're my neighbors. I live just over the border. I have over 10 years, probably almost 13 years of videos that you can go back and watch in my playlists. Go to my main channel. There's a lot to catch up on there. If you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is by hitting the thumbs up button and leaving me a comment down below. Let me know that you're new. I'd love for all my friends here to welcome you, become a part of the regular daily viewership. And hey, if you really, really like my channel and you want to take it one step further, once you get to know me a little better, you can always click that join now button and uh, become a member. It's like for the cost of like a Starbucks coffee a month. And you can get, uh, and you can get early access to all my videos if that's what you'd like to do. And if not, I'm just happy to have you here as well. Let's get on the road. So this store, I really like this store. And everything you possibly could need. And like I said, he bought me my coffee today. Like, what a nice guy. He didn't have to do that. And I really appreciate that. myself up this hill now come on it's fresh air in here it's a hot day out 30 degrees so that's got to be what 85 Fahrenheit somewhere in there it's supposed to be like that all week it's gonna be a warm September week I love it
International Bridge, Highway 71, and then turn right in 610 meters. We're coming up to Rainy River here. I believe it's Rainy River. In 200 meters, turn right on International Bridge, Highway 71, and then turn right in 610 meters. See, that guy just went through the red light. There's a sign here on my right that says right turn permitted on red signal. Does that mean straight? Is that right? Because that to me is straight and not a right turn. So I never go through this red light. Uh, confusing, right? Right? Right. Confusing right turns, right? I'm not going through a red light, Are you kidding me? They gotta be more clear about that. So there's the river off to our right. The other side is the United States of America. Crossing from the province of Ontario into the state of Minnesota. This guy gonna cut in front of me. I thought he was rushing past me to try to cut me off. Nope, guess not. Sometimes brains do prevail, you never know. Show them the paperwork, show them who I am, tell them where I'm going, what my business is in the United States, where I'm from, stuff like that. And then I've got another three hours down to Brainerd. And then another two hours back up to Bemidji. So about five hours of driving, probably about an hour and a half unloading. We should be done our day in less than seven hours. We're in Deer River, Minnesota, and they closed this road here again with a detour going through here. It smells like bonfire out here. Someone's having a bonfire. It smells good. In 100 meters, turn right on. County Road 81 again. Turn right in 100 meters. consider big trucks when they create these detours. Usually this would not be a route I would take. It's not so bad. I don't gotta run any curbs, so that's good. Oh, 
that detour wasn't bad at all. We're back here at the the main road. here about 9.05 quickly ripped everything off the truck by that I mean like the tarps and straps he unloaded me now I am out of here and uh, on my way to Bemidji the time is now 10 o'clock right. off we go Quick and painless. Loaded, unloaded, I'm getting to my next shipper tonight yet. Bing, bang, boom. Getting stuff done. Making the money. I don't know about you, but I like money. Now it's about an hour and a half, two hours. Washington Street, and then 210. I'll probably end up being about two hours to Bemidji. I'm going to stop and make myself something to eat yet, so it's 150 kilometers, it's about uh, 90 miles. I'm going to park at a truck stop there and uh, catch some sleep. I have till 1 p.m. tomorrow, that's when my appointment is tomorrow to reload. So that gives me plenty of time, which is good. I'll probably see if I can get in a bit earlier, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, and we made it to Bemidji. It's a nice quiet night here. Cenex truck stop. It's like nobody here. A couple of local trucks parked here. A couple of OTR drivers parked on that side. But other than that, I mean, some drop trailers here. It's just us. So it should be a nice and quiet night. That was a pretty long day altogether. We started at home. Uh, hooked onto the trailer. Brought that trailer to Kenora. Loaded it up. Tied it down. Tarped it. Drove down to Brainerd, Minnesota. About six, six and a half hours. Took the tarps off, rolled them up, cleaned everything up, all the bungees and everything. Took the straps off, cleaned those up, got unloaded, and then came here to Bemidji. So, I'm tired, to say the least. I'm ready to go to bed. So I'll get a good night's sleep here. I got some time before I have to load up tomorrow afternoon. 
When I get up, I'll see if they can load me a little earlier. Can't hurt to ask. The answer might be no. What's the worst they can say? No. And then we'll load at 1 o'clock and head back. That delivery is going to be in Winnipeg the following day. Especially if I load at 1 o'clock. So we'll get loaded or drive up to Winnipeg. I might even go home for the night. Mm. It's right on the way. Sleep in my own bed. Uh, I'm too tired to think about that right now. My head hurts. I've got a little bit of a headache. I think I just stayed up a little late. Uh, gotta drink some more water, I guess. Take care, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. So you all know the drill. If you really like what I do, you can support me by leaving me a comment down below, sharing it with your friends on your social media, your Facebook or your X pages, wherever you share content. You can click the share button below this video. Share it out there. If you liked it, chances are your friends and family might like it too. If you want to go one step further, you can go down below and click the Join Now button, become a member, and with that, you get early access to all the videos. If you click the button down below, it'll explain more there. Take care, everyone. Use your turn signals out there. Turn your high beams off when you're in traffic. Turn your lights on, even if it's daytime. Whenever you get in your car, just make sure your lights are on. Helps us to see you better, especially when it's in our mirror. Especially when it's raining. If your wipers are on, your headlights should be on. And your tail lights. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll talk to you tomorrow.